Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video how you can record the screen at the POCO F4. Yeah, let me tell you that you have already a built-in screen recorder here, so you don't need to download an extra app and so on. And um, if you want to use it, just scroll down here right next to the camera, scroll down right next to the camera, and then you will have here the control center. And the part of this control center are here these settings, uh, these shortcuts, I'm sorry. Um, and if you scroll down here in these shortcuts, you will have some more options. And one of them is here the icon with the camera. So just tap on the icon with the camera and then you have this little screen recorder tool here. Now you can move it to another position, just hold your finger on it and pull it to another position. And uh, yeah, the first button we will have here, the red one, is to record. Um, I think you can imagine already. Ne? So then the screen recording has started and so on. And if you want to stop the screen recording, tap first of all to make the screen recording tool visible and again to stop the video. The, now you can see it's safe now to your, our gallery. Yeah? And the purple gallery uh, next to the web button is a folder. Here you have all your existing um, screen recordings here on the phone. And as you can see, I had already three videos here on that phone. Okay. I would recommend to you, and that's the third point here, always to go on the settings first. No? Tap on a symbol for the settings here because here you can set up the resolution of the video and the video quality. No? If you want to have the maximum, that's fine, but if you want to make tutorials or something like this, um, may, uh, it takes a lot of uh, storage no? and you can reduce here the um, quality a bit to save a bit of your storage. Then very important also is here the sound source. Now, if you just want to have here the system sound or if you want to have the microphone in case you want to explain something. Huh? So, and also um, important, the frame rate also for the quality, you know, as higher the frame rate is, as um, better as the quality, but as more storage you will need. Huh? Okay, and these last points here are also very important. Huh? If you want to make maybe tutorials, um, no one sees really uh, later on the video where you have touched the screen and so on. No? But with that you can make it visible no? for your touches as well for the buttons. No? In case you press a button, people could see which button you have pressed with a little animation and so on. I would recommend to you then to turn this on here. Yeah. And if you want to stop the video recording, also the, the tool, if you want to remove the tool, just tap here on the X. I think you can imagine that as well. And then um, the uh, yeah, <laughs> screen recording tool um, has closed. Okay, but you can have them, uh, you can have it always back. Just scroll down here, scroll down here in the shortcuts again. And then you just tap on the uh, camera icon and then you will have this uh, tool back. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and answer your question. And by the way, if you just want to have a picture of your screen, huh, use three fingers swipe them across the screen and you will have just a screenshot so a picture of your screen huh? and yeah i hope i could help you with this video and answer a question and uh, yeah maybe if you want you can leave me a nice comment or give me something that would be very helpful for my videos uh, thank you so so much for and yeah i've created also some other videos if you're interested in some more tips and tricks and so on or you can also subscribe me to don't miss a new video thank you so so much for all your support and uh, yeah maybe until next time Ciao!